Boris Becker has had his say on the great debate surrounding Novak Djokovic, Rafael Nadal and Roger Federer. Boris Becker has once again reignited the tennis, GOAT greatest of all time, debate following Novak Djokovic's latest Grand Slam victory at the Australian Open. Djokovic is a third of tennis big three trio alongside Rafael Nadal and Roger Federer. All have staked a claim to be regarded as their sport's greatest ever player throughout their glittering careers, and Djokovic has become the latest to strengthen his bid. The Serbian secured a record 10th Australian Open title on Sunday, whilst also equaling Rafael Nadal's Grand Slam record of 22 victories. Djokovic blew away his opponent Stefano Tsitsipas in the final in Melbourne, winning in straight sets, 6-3, 7-5, 7-5. Following his victory, Djokovic's former coach Becker believes the world number one is now one step closer to becoming tennis' greatest competitor, which was a life dream of the 22-time Grand Slam winner. Speaking on Eurosport Germany's podcast, Das Gelbe vom Ball, he said, Novak is 35 years old and he knows at 40 he won't manage this performance. I think it will be a hell of a ride after the Australian Open. It will be a completely different act and a completely different burden in Paris and Wimbledon. Success is his life's dream, he wants to become the most successful player in history. Even as a child he said, I am going to be the best, and he was right. And now he is at the limit. Despite Djokovic's win, the dominance of the sport's big three is slowly coming to an end, especially after the retirement of Federer late last year. And with both Djokovic and Nadal much closer to the end of their careers than the start, Becker believes the sport is going through a generational change. He went on, we are seeing the generational change at the moment. Roger Federer is already gone, Rafael Nadal is one step away for me. He will play Paris, after that I see a question mark. Novak Djokovic will definitely go through this season, but if he makes 23 grand slams and turns 36 next year, then it's a question of time. The generational change is happening now.